In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Facebook lookalike audiences, including how to create them, the best ones to use, and how to actually set them up and target them with your Facebook ads. Now, a Facebook lookalike audience is simply an audience of people that Facebook finds for you that is based on an existing audience that you provide. So you give Facebook a group of people and say, hey, go and find me a bunch more people that are similar to this group. The most common uses for this are giving Facebook a group of, let's say, existing customers or existing leads and telling Facebook to go out and create a lookalike based on those because you know that the audience Facebook brings back for you to target are going to be like your existing customers or your existing leads. Now, those are just two examples. I'm going to show you many more different ways to create and use lookalikes. The first thing you need to know about lookalike audiences is their quality will vary drastically based on two core things. The first one is how many people are in the source audience or custom audience that you give to Facebook for it to use to create the lookalike. The more people that are in that data set that you can provide, the better quality your lookalike will be because Facebook has more data points to use when it goes out into its platform looking for similar people. The second thing that has a huge impact on the quality of your lookalike and the actual performance of that lookalike is how similar the people are in your source audience or your custom audience to the people you actually want to get your ads in front of. Meaning the audience that you provide to Facebook as a base for your lookalike should be people who have already performed ideally the action that you want people to perform when you run your ads. So if you run ads and you're wanting people to buy from you, meaning you want them to make a purchase, then ideally you want to be able to provide Facebook with a custom audience full of your existing customers because then it can create a lookalike based off that and find more people that are just like your existing customers. Now that's not always going to be possible, but where that isn't possible, you should try and give Facebook a custom audience that contains people as far down your funnel as possible. Meaning if you can't give them a list of existing customers, maybe you can move one step up the funnel and give Facebook a custom audience full of existing leads, or maybe people who've booked a call, maybe people who've initiated checkout or maybe just your full email list of email subscribers. Each time you move up the funnel the quality of that audience isn't as great but it's going to be larger so there's a little bit of a trade-off there especially if you're just getting started and you don't have that big customer list to give Facebook already. Okay so let's go deeper on this we'll jump over to the Facebook ad manager now we'll look at how to actually create and set up these lookalike audiences. So from the Facebook ad manager you need to click on the menu on the left and go to the audiences tab. Now the first thing we need to do is actually create our custom audience that will serve as the base for our lookalike. So to do that, we click create audience and click custom audience. Now you can see we've got lots of different options here. The first one is website custom audiences. Now these are audiences that contain people who visited your website or even specific pages that you've specified. We've got our customer list custom audiences. Those are where you upload an email list. Now these don't necessarily have to be customers. They can also be people who have just opted into your email list. They can be warm leads or anything else that is based off an email list upload. Some of the other notable ones here, we've got our video view custom audiences. They are people who viewed videos on Facebook and Instagram. We've got our lead forms. So if you're using lead forms, we can create custom audiences, meaning groups of people based on the activity activities they've performed within your lead forms. And then we've got a few others like people who've engaged with your Instagram account, your Facebook page, instant experiences, and a few others. Now the first one I'm going to show you is a customer list custom audience. This is where you would upload an email list full of customers or leads as I mentioned, and use that as the basis for your lookalike. So select customer list, click next. Now here it just shows us how to prepare the list with most email platforms like ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, you can simply export your email subscribers or your customers into a CSV. Once you do that, it's pretty much good to go. So then we click next. If you have a column in your CSV that includes the customer value, select yes here. If not, which is going to be most cases, just tick no and hit next. Now what we need to do here is actually upload our file. So I've got a sample file here that I'm going to just drag across next. What you need to do on this page is match as many of these fields as you can. The more fields you can map across to Facebook here, then the higher the match rate is going to be on this audience, meaning more of the people that you provide in your list will actually be able to be matched on Facebook side and added to your custom audience, which will then be used as the basis for your lookalike. So you can see here, we've already automatically mapped email, country, and zip. 
But if we go over to action needed, you can see there are a lot more fields here that we can also map, like first name. So first name is a column in my CSV that I uploaded, and you can see there are a list of names. So I'm going to map that to Facebook as first name. We've got last name, I'm going to map that to Facebook as last name. Phone number, yep, we can map that as well. And then simply scroll down, that doesn't work, so we'll cancel that. Um, simply scroll through, we've got city, I can do that with city, state as well. And then you would go through the list and find any other fields you can map. You can see the list there that's possible. So if you've got date of birth, year of birth, gender, age, uh, phone number as I showed you before, then go ahead and match as many of those as you possibly can. And then you simply click import and create. Now that's going to upload all of that information to Facebook as hashed data, meaning Facebook don't actually see the email addresses and everything. It's all hashed, sent off to Facebook, and then matched as hashed values on the back end. And now you can see here, we've got our customer list example and it's populating. So the estimated audience size isn't there yet because it's still matching in the background on Facebook side. There are only a few different pieces of data in that because it's only a sample set. So it's going to be a very small audience, but still good for this example. Now to create a lookalike audience based off our customer list, we can simply go to create audience again, click lookalike audience, and here it's going to select our source. So our source is going to be our customer list example in this case. We need to select other sources for that to appear. And now we need to select an audience location. Now this is really important because only people from the locations that you select in this list will actually be added to your lookalike. So if you're mainly targeting, let's say the US and Canada, you would just choose the US and Canada here and then you'll get a big lookalike that only contains people from those two countries. So make sure you select the countries that you want to use here. Now another thing I'll mention here again is it's really important that your actual custom audience that you're using as a base for the lookalike contains at least a few hundred people from the countries that you select from this list. So if all of your customers, for example, are from the United States, and you go and enter in this list and choose, let's say, Australia. Well, it's not going to be a great list for Facebook if it works at all, because your source audience doesn't contain data from people from the selected country. So just make sure that you give Facebook a list or a custom audience that contains lots of people from the countries you're selecting. Next up, you're going to have to choose a size. Now, the size of your lookalike actually impacts quality as well. So the smaller your lookalike, meaning the closer to 1% that you select here, the more closely matched the people in that lookalike will be to your source audience. So if you choose a smaller lookalike, you get less people, you get fewer people in that lookalike, but they are more closely matched to the source that you provided versus if you went up and chose something like 10%, you can see that expands the size of our lookalike to 27 million now. It was only 3 million before when we were at 1%, but it means that Facebook has to go out to a broader pool of people to fill that lookalike. So it's not going to be as closely matched as a smaller lookalike. So I like to start nice and small with one to 3%. So I normally choose either 1%, 2% or 3% depending on uh, how big I'm looking to scale and what I've sort of figured out so far. But generally I'll start with 1% and then if I want to test larger, I'll go up to 3% and sometimes even 5%. Uh, but in this case, let's choose 1% and you just click create audience. Now that's going to go out and it's going to create your lookalike. You can see here though, I've got an error. Source is too small. Please choose a source that includes at least 100 people in the same country, which is what I was mentioning to you before about making sure that your source contains people from the country that you selected. And it's at least 100. Though I do recommend now, especially with iOS 14 and everything that's gone on there in terms of privacy and reducing the match rate on these audiences, I recommend at least a thousand people in any list that you upload. So if you haven't got a thousand customers yet, maybe upload a list full of leads. If you haven't got that many leads, then maybe try your full email list or maybe try even a different audience that we'll talk about soon. All right, so I'm just going to click cancel now. You would obviously click create audience there and populate that if you had a large enough uh, custom audience. Now what I will show you here in my demo account is what it looks like when you do have a lookalike audience here. So if I select type and I filter by lookalike, you can see you'll get something that looks like this. So you can see I've got a lookalike here and it lists the countries that we selected for this lookalike. So Australia, Canada, and three others. And it will show you the list over here. 
Now I'll show you how to set that up shortly, but before I do that, let's look at some of the other custom audiences you can use to create your lookalikes from. So we can do website as well. If we select a website custom audience, we can click that and that will bring us across here and we can create our audiences based on our website visitors. So I can choose all website visitors in the last 180 days. That's going to give me a custom audience that contains everybody who's hit my website in the last 180 days. Now I will give you a little caveat here and something that's really important to mention. When the iOS 14.5 privacy changes came around, it greatly impacted the effectiveness of the Facebook pixel. And what that means is only a relatively small percentage of your website visitors actually get pixeled by Facebook and will be able to be added into these custom audiences, which means that you need a lot more web traffic now for these custom audiences to actually be effective. I've heard some people say that customer list custom audiences and website custom audiences aren't as effective as sources for lookalikes as they were pre iOS 14.5. And I do agree with that to a certain extent. Some of the lookalikes that are created off these custom audiences now aren't as good, but it's not because the system isn't as effective, it's because the match rate is lower on your customer lists and on your website custom audiences. It's actually lower on any of these ones here in the Your Sources list. That means that custom audiences are smaller than they used to be. So a website visitor custom audience is now smaller than it used to be because that match rate is so much lower. Same as a customer list custom audience that you upload. In the past, let's say you uploaded a thousand people in a customer list. Well, maybe 90% of those would have got matched, meaning you would have 900 people in your custom audience that you could yet then use as a base for your lookalike. Now you might upload that same thousand people and Facebook might only match 600 of them, for example, meaning that you only have 600 people in your custom audience to use as a base for your lookalike. And as I mentioned earlier, the size of your custom audience directly impacts the quality of that lookalike. So what we're seeing is smaller custom audiences as a result of iOS 14.5, which means the lookalikes that we're creating from those custom audiences aren't as high a quality. But if you can still provide nice big custom audiences, then these customer list lookalikes and these website visitor lookalikes still work very well. You just need more people in order to get them to the same quality that you could pre iOS 14.5. Now back to creating our website visitor custom audience. So you would simply do this, select the time period. If we wanted to select all of our website visitors, you can also select people who visited specific pages. So let's say a post purchase thank you page. You might have a page that people hit after they buy from you, something like andrewhubbard.co forward slash thank dash you. And you could create a custom audience that just contains people who've hit that page. Now I would recommend if you're going to create a custom audience that contains customers, do the email list upload. Use the customer list custom audience instead of the website visitor custom audience because the match rate is going to be much, much higher on that email list than is going to be on the website visitor custom audience. So just a heads up there. So you'd go ahead, create your custom audience. Let's say I create this one here, the all website visitors. Create audience and that's going to again, create a new custom audience for me. From here, I can simply click create a lookalike and create a lookalike audience based off of that. Let's see if this will work for me. That one works straight away. And now you can see that we have our lookalike US or website visitors 180 days. It's still showing below a thousand people, but it's populating. I recommend waiting until that's populated and then going ahead and setting up your ads. Now let's go take a look at some of the other custom audiences that we can use. We've got video views custom audience. This is a really interesting one because these activities, anything under meta sources here, these activities all occur inside the meta platform, meaning on Facebook, on Instagram, or on any of the platforms that they own. That means that these audiences aren't actually affected by the iOS 14.5 privacy changes. And so these audiences tend to be larger custom audiences because Facebook can track everything that's going on there. So if we wanna create a video custom audience, which is based on people who've watched videos, we can select different time periods. So I can select people who've watched, let's say 25% of a video. We can then choose our videos. So we can select here the different videos that we want to include. Any video that we select is going to be included in this custom audience, meaning if somebody has watched any of the videos that we've selected, 
and they've watched the percentage that we chose on that last screen, then they're going to be included in this custom audience. You can see here, it also shows how many people watched each of these videos to three seconds. So you just select all of those, click confirm. And you can see it's included all of those here in our list. You can choose retention. So what time period do you want to include here? So people who've watched at least 25% of these videos in the last 365 days, and then we can just give it a name. Click create audience, and that's going to create our video view custom audience. Now, again, all we need to do is click create a lookalike audience or create it using the method I showed before where you click the blue create audience button and select uh, lookalike, choose your country, and it's all exactly the same. Now, one thing I want to remind you of here, if you are doing things like creating lookalikes based off of video view custom audiences, while that is a great way to get started. Remember that one thing that's really important here is how far down the funnel these people are that you are using in your custom audiences to base your lookalikes off. So if I wanted to create a campaign to go and get purchases of my coaching program or my course using Facebook ads, and I used a lookalike audience based off people who've watched videos on Facebook and Instagram, that might not be the best lookalike because the lookalike is going to contain people who are similar to those who like watching my videos on Facebook and Instagram. They're not going to be necessarily the same people as those who actually bought from me. So just something to remember when you're creating these video view based lookalikes and any lookalike that's kind of high up in the funnel. Now let's go and look at how we actually use these lookalikes. So the first thing we need to do is go back to the Facebook ad manager. So that menu on the left, click ad manager. And from here, we create a campaign just like usual. Select our objective. So let's say I want to get leads for my business. I would select leads, click continue. And down here in the ad set level, after we set everything else up, we'll choose, let's say we want website here, generate leads through our website. I would select my pixel, select my conversion event. So in this case, I want leads, so I would choose leads. I'm not going into too much detail in this setup because this is more just about how to actually target our lookalikes. So then we would go down here to our audiences. And you can see we've got our custom audiences box. Now it says custom audiences, but this is also where you select your lookalike audiences. So I'm going to go all website. And if I click lookalike, that filters our list based on lookalike. We've got our brand new lookalike that I just created containing all of our website visitors. So you simply choose your lookalike from this list in order to target them. Select your locations. Now, because our lookalikes only contain the countries that we chose, you can either select your specific locations here. So this lookalike only contains people from the US. So I could choose uh, United States here. But even if I didn't choose United States, even if I left my location blank, only people in the US would see my ads anyway, because I'm targeting that lookalike and that lookalike only contains people from the US. So something to bear in mind there. And from there, you'd simply go through the rest of your targeting Set that up as you normally would, specific genders, specific age groups, if you want to. Though I recommend when you're using a lookalike, leave all of that open. Because in theory, if Facebook has done its job well, and it usually does, then the lookalike will only contain people that match the demographics, the interests, and the behaviors of the custom audience that you provided. So if you gave them a good quality custom audience, then your lookalike should already have this stuff covered for you anyway. So once you've done all that, the last important thing to do is sign up for my newsletter if you haven't done that already. There's a link down in the description. Basically, I send out a newsletter every week that helps you become a better Facebook and Instagram advertiser, a better digital marketer in general to get more sales and revenue from your digital courses, coaching, and consulting. Now, if custom audiences have still got you a little bit confused, make sure you watch this video next where I dive into that topic in even more detail and teach you everything you need to know about custom audiences on Facebook. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye.